Oh, Taylor, quit bouncing. I knew I should have got a real monitor arm. One of the most important things you need to know when buying a monitor arm is if the monitors that you currently have or you're looking to purchase are VESA compliant. VESA compliance is an industry standard for monitor arm and monitor arm manufacturers, and this is how the monitor arm actually attaches to the back of your monitor. These are generally 75 by 75 or 100 by 100 millimeter mounts on the back of the monitor and are in a square pattern. Now, one thing to note is that they're not always easily seen on the back of your monitor, and you may need to remove a plastic plate or the actual stand that it holds the monitor up. But just because you don't have a monitor that is VESA compliant doesn't mean you necessarily can't actually attach the monitor to the arm. You'll just be looking at more cumbersome solutions like these large brackets that attach to the outside of your monitor or potentially even looking at a more permanent solution like some type of adhesive that will take the monitor and attach directly to the bracket. If your desk is set up in a way that you'll be against a wall, you need to consider how the monitor arms will interact with the actual wall itself and the amount of space that will be required between the desk and the wall. And the reason for this is in the design of the actual monitor arms themselves. The way that they hinge and pivot and move makes it so that it actually is a bit obtrusive and sticking out beyond the back surface of the desk's edge. Additionally, if you don't have the amount of space required to actually move the desk away from the wall to accommodate for the monitor arm sticking off the back of the desk, you will need to push the monitor arms forward, which will bring the monitors closer to your face. Stability issues and monitor arm bounce is a common problem with monitor arms, and this is especially true if you're on a desk that's unstable stable. Now, if your desk is stable and that's not the issue, you will definitely want to focus on the design and the type of monitor arms that you choose. Typically, we find that cheaper monitor arms are going to be the biggest culprits of stability issues, but even more expensive ones when extended out from the post system can be a problem. So we highly recommend, number one, that you look for a good quality monitor arm. But if you're looking at just how you can make it better, focus on where things are mounting and how close they're mounted to the actual post or arm system on the desk. The closer it is to the actual mount, the less bounce that will occur. If you're someone who's conscious of wires on your desk and really concerned with overall wire management, this is something that you really want to take note of when you look for that next monitor arm and you need to really consider this because you're going to have at least two wires from each monitor so if you have two monitors that's potentially four wires and they're going to be running off the back of the monitor somewhere underneath the desk additionally you want to be conscious of the monitor length required this is especially true with multiple monitor arm systems that require a bit of additional length and if you have a standing desk you'll definitely want to have some additional length to reach your cpu if you're keeping it on the floor understanding which type of mounts you're going to be using is important as some brands will only include either a C-clamp or a grommet mount. Now the C-clamp option is a less permanent solution and is easily moved around on your desk. The grommet mount on the other hand does have a requirement of drilling a grommet hole in your desk to allow the pass through for the mounting system to work properly. Both are equally as stable and secure to your desk. Sorry Taylor, I already have a monitor arm.